Okay, here's the major scale. As we can see here on my chart here, I have it written out. The C is 1, the D is 2, the E is 3, F4, and so on and so forth. Now, between here and the black key, if we can consider, can, if we consider each of these keys a half step, then we could say from here to here is a half step, from here to here is a half step, from here to here is a half step, from here to here is a half step. Or we could just say that to make a major scale, we just have to remember this formula, which is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So that works like this. From here to here is a half step. So first we make one whole step, half and a half equals a whole, so that's a whole step, which is here. From here to here is a half step, from here to here is a whole step, because it's two half steps, so we're going whole step, whole step, half step. As we can see between E and F, there's no key here, so that is only half a step. So we got whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. This is how you build a major scale. Of course, you can start on any key and do this. If I go back here and I look at these keys, I could put my finger down anywhere here. And then to build a major scale, I would go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that's how you build a major scale. So basically, you can build a major scale on any key. If I start here, all I have to do is remember whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and I've just built a major scale. You can refer to the circle of fifths to understand how many sharps or flats are in any given key. Please check out circleoffifths.com because it rocks!